Hey everybody, my name is Gather More. Welcome back for another video of NHL 21 franchise mode. We're going to continue this series. In the last video, we had a fantastic fi finish uh, for our second season. And uh, basically, finishing the best team as the best team of the entire league, boys, by winning the President's Trophy and then going on into the Stanley Cup Finals just to lose against the Vegas Golden Knights. Unfortunately, we did not. Or we made it all the way to the end. But uh, the Vegas Golden Knights whooped our ass in the finals. Apparently, uh, even though they don't have that good of a team, uh, they have better simulation than us in the qu uh, real time, I guess. But uh, it's fine because I'm really happy about our season. Overall, we aren't... the in my opinion, we weren't even supposed to be in the finals. I mean, let alone the playoffs is, right, it's very close. We made it, not only did we make it to the playoffs, all the way to the Stanley Cup finals, we were actually the best team of the league. That shit is crazy, boys. That's just unthinkable to, for me to, only in my second year as GM, to be able to do that. Uh, we're going to sim to the uh, to the draft pick. Today, we're going to be doing the draft. Uh, free agency, this re-signings, every single one of these things we're going to be doing it. I don't know if we're going to be simulating a uh, season or not. We'll have to see how long, uh, it depends how long it takes. Carolina is going to have the very first draft pick this year, along with Islanders, St. Louis, Edmonton. Edmonton once again getting in the top five. God damn it, man. They keep getting those draft picks. What the hell? What's going on over there? Uh, so I'm not even near the top 15 boys. So we're not going to have that much of a good draft pick this year. Obviously because we went all the way to the end. Let's do, uh, let's see the retired players this year. It's going to be Marian Osa decided to retire. Uh, didn't do too much, right? He didn't play at all actually. Don't know why he, he yeah, he hasn't played uh, in four or five years actually. He hasn't played in five, six years. So I don't know why he was still uh, getting there. I guess he finally decided to retire. Uh, Ryan Kessler, uh, Erickson, all these old timers uh, decide to retire. What about defensemen? Uh, we did lose. So Chara is out. Buffalgun is out. Uh, and other words, a bunch of uh, garbage players like Polak and stuff like that. And what about goaltenders? Uh, Craig Anderson decided to retire at the age of 41. That's pretty much it. Let's take a look uh, really quick. I want us to make sure that we didn't lose anybody on our end. So, uh, Devils, did we lose anybody? We did. Oh, yeah, we are. Oh, of course, Buffalgun was on our team. Of course. So, we lost Buffalgun, unfortunately. Wait, he was, yeah, he was 37 years of age, I guess. But he was 88 overall. He could have still went for a couple of seasons, boys. Whatever. So we lost friends Nilsson and Buffalgun. And did we lose any goalies? Nope. So we lost two players. One of them being very important for the roster itself. Um, so, and it, he's now a coach. So Buffalgun is now a coach. We're going to have to take a look at that. Maybe we can bring him back as a coach for our team, boys. You never know, right? It, it could be great. So continue. We're going to just continue the simulation really quick. Pro scout on the line. Yeah, I know. All right. So let's actually coaching staff. So Buffalgun is a, is available as a as a coach basically. But we already have a really go, uh, like good coaches. Maybe we can put him in the AHL as a coach. Could be great. We got plenty of money, right, that we can spend. So we could probably put him as a coach. We never know. So, so far so good. Actually, we do need an associate coach. So he could be our associate coach. Uh, we'll, we'll take a look at that in due time, I guess. Right now, we're ready, just about ready to go into the uh, draft. We'll see what we can do. Let's go into it. Uh, see if we got anybody uh, or anything that we could do. So where are we in the draft lottery? We only have one more draft pick this year. Yeah. So 30, number 30. That's not... Uh, we can probably try and uh, tweak it up. So let's try and go all the way to 20th play position. Uh, we'll see if there's any prospects that I do have. Uh, maybe I do have some good prospects and stuff like that I can trade or something like that, right? Someone I'm not going to use. But options, I'm definitely going to use 71 overall already. Yeah, he was our first round pick from last year. Interesting, isn't it? 
He's actually pretty good. He's uh, growing pretty nicely. So I'm going to keep him for now. Our low elite didn't grow at all. Kovacs does not grow, boys. He's not growing. Uh, he's going to be a touchy one for sure. I don't know what to do with him. I want to keep an eye on him though. Uh, what about if I give them like a top six? We could move up. Now nah, or no, we're going to keep it going. We're going to keep it like it is. I don't have any prospects to trade per se. And on par, we're going to have to find a replacement for Buffalo Gun for sure since he retired. It's going to be tough, boys. It's a top two defenseman right there. Um, so let's see really quick. Who's going to be the fir first pick overall? Medium elite. Left wing uh, power forward. Schneider. Going with the uh, Carolina Hurricanes. Interesting choice. I guess it could work out for them. It's a pretty good uh, pick overall. 78 overall for Tarasov. So there's no franchise player or anything, right? There's not that big time player. But um, we did set it up so it's a deep draft. There's going to be deep draft more often than not. So there's going to be a lot of 70s, uh, 70s elite players. Look at that. You can go very far into it and get a lot of 70 uh, players. All the way all the way over there. There we go. And uh, eighth, let's see if there's still some elites. Uh, look at that. Top 9, top 10. Like uh, top eight boys, there's still uh, some 77 overall elites and stuff like that. So um, it's dr deep draft picks. So we're definitely going to be able to find some good players in there, especially since we did the... Tr now remember, we did the scouting ourselves. We did the scouting ourselves. So all these players right here that we didn't scout are pretty much Garbo, to be honest. So they're all telling me that I should go for them, but... Most of them, I'm not entirely sure if I should actually go for them. Uh, let's take a look. Uh, who would be the best option for us in the first round pick? Maybe, one, yeah, Alpern for sure. I saw him. So I didn't, there's nobody, I even even though I scouted like crazy. I guess my scouts are just not good enough yet to scout uh, properly. But I would say, I mean, I scouted them like crazy. I would say they uh, they are uh, basically uh, that right now. So this guy could be really good, actually. It says he's a power forward. Two years, Joe Sakic. Potential elite. Can it tented, boys. Right wing and a sniper. He can play both position. Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. But uh, is there a defenseman I could pick? I mean, there's this the some defensemen like this guy right here. I guess 70, 17 years of age, uh, rated as medium elite. Mark Au, so three years of age, uh, or three years to grow though. That's quite a lot. I don't think he's gonna be an elite, boys. I don't think that one's gonna be an elite. Uh, I'll take um I'll take my chance and I'll go for Alpern on this one. I'll go for Alpern. He's gonna make my very first overall draft pick, boys. Uh, so this year's dr first draft pick was not an elite. He's a uh, toxic, medium toxic, or another medium toxic. Uh, unfortunate, but I think he's still gonna be pretty good. He's, he could still end up being something decent for us, you know. But I'm looking for elites here. Uh, it's just a shame that uh, we were all the way there. I mean, we had a deep draft pick. It's just, oh, yeah. Well, we did a better choice definitely than uh, uh, the Vegas Golden Knights. That's for sure. Let's see if we missed on anything. Uh, anything at all? N Nagy? Nope. Oh, so far, I did the great, the good choice. I, yeah, I did the better choice so far. Oh, a low elite. There it is. There's a low elite. Cal uh, Cal Shannon. Man, I... I I spent the entire season drafting people, boys, or scouting people, and even though I did that, for some reason, it wasn't enough. I don't know. Uh, I am going to take... Uh, is there any gems? Let me take a look. Oh, there's no gems whatsoever? No gems, boys. All right. Um, in that case, well, I don't know who to go for exactly. All right, so... We're just going to go back to the rankings right here really quick. Uh, let's see what we got. So, rankings... 40, we haven't scouted this guy. Who? SHL. How come we didn't scout them? That's kind of, kind of crazy. We were not. We didn't scout these guys for some reason. Uh, Oldman. Uh, I don't. Yeah, I don't know, boys. What about this guy? He could be something. Uh, 18 years of age. Another center, though. Kind of typical for uh for to take a chance on one of these two guys. 
because they've got uh, their defensemen. So I need someone to replace like in def defense and stuff. I think this guy could be better. So let's take a look at Aglin. Let's pick up Aglin. Medium top four. All right. I'm happy with that. Medium top four, boys. 60 overall. Two-way defenseman, though. Uh, not the type of defenseman I would like to have on my team. But uh, it's fine. It's it's really fine. We can trade those players afterwards in other years, you know. And uh, that's... Or just trade assets, I guess, I can get eventually. Uh, ways... May I, at this point, I think I would just want to go for... Yeah. This guy definitely, I think he's definitely going to get be a elite because he's really right there. He could be an elite, boys. Defenseman, let's try to pick him up. Mebus, low top four. God damn. All right, I'm not like I'm not picking up garbage players or anything, but it's not like it's not the elites. I'm trying to figure out, I I want elites, boys. I need to scout even further or something. I need more scouts. Is that what I need? Or better scouts overall, I guess. Uh, five years, I don't know, boys. It seems like I'm not picking up the ones I want right now. Like, this guy has been scouted properly. He's a left wing. Uh, okay, yeah, well, I don't... You know, I don't know what to go for right here. I could try and go for a goaltender. You never know. You could pick up something good. Uh, this guy looks like... Uh, yeah, I'm going to take a chance on petrol, maybe. Ah, fringe starter. Yeah, that's garbage. Now, that's a garbage one. All right, that's like a top nine or something. So really don't have anything right now. Really don't have anything. Yeah, all right. So I'm just going to skip the rest of them. Unless I pick something really good, I'll skip ahead, boys. All right, well, the draft has been completed, boys. Nothing really. We didn't pick up any elites this year. So that was a pretty disappointing draft. I'm not going to lie. Really nothing going on. Uh, their head coach is... Out to get right. We're almost gonna lose him. We're pretty much gonna lose him. He's a good head coach for a really good head coach though for the the I guess the AHL. That's the one thing that uh, I kind of want to keep him. But I actually, you know, would like to have him uh, instead as the associate coach to put Buffalgan as the uh, the actual head coach for the AHL. Would be great for us. Um, not gonna re-sign this guy. I'm gonna fire this, uh, this girl for sure. And this guy as well, all right? They're not, they're garbo, they're garbo. And I've got plenty of money to sign some real coaches here. So I'm gonna re-sign this one. This one seems like a good coach. AHL associate coach for sure. You're gonna get signed for, yeah, sure, why not? I'm actually gonna give you a little bit more right here. I'm gonna give you, um this right here this amount all right this amount right there should give you uh, a thousand uh, 100 uh, 1000 more than uh, you usually need uh anybody on the scouting wise we do need some people so um the scouts are growing some of the scouts are getting better boys so there's that at least you know you would just need to be patient with our scouts i guess i don't know why but our scouting was not good at all this year really not good i don't know why boys I thought I had scouted pretty well the all the players, most of them play uh, the players, but I mean all these D minuses and stuff like that. I guess it's really bad. It really doesn't help. So go to assign scouts. That's fine. All of this is fine. So yeah, I guess we're fine right now. I don't uh, I don't have anything unless I can. I I need, I think I need uh, to wait until free agency. Yeah, I, I need to wait until free free agency to look at the coaches. But I'm definitely interested in going to see uh, Buffalo Gun, what he's all about. But right now we got to go into contracts. Take a look at all of our team uh, players, boys. All of our players. Who's ready to go? Who's not ready? So we got Nico Ischier at 90 overall. Uh, Jack Hughes didn't grow too much, actually. He's probably going to grow during the season itself. Because he's 86 overall. He's the same as uh, the end of the season. He does want an extension. So he does want to come back. We already have Nugent Hopkins as well. So we already have one, two, three. Zajac's our uh, backup player. Basically, he's the depth forward. Uh, Zaka, I don't have any space for you whatsoever, my man. So I'm going to release you. I'm definitely going to release you, buddy. I don't need, I don't have space for him. Uh, so right now, I definitely want to re-sign you for sure.
yeah, I, I want to resign yours, boys. That's that's not even a question right there. I mean, they can look at uh, what he did for us. Uh, the previous years are uh, uh, it's doesn't it's not point per game, but it's like he's producing like crazy. I like his stats. I like his stats a lot. So we're gonna give him the eight year deal. We're gonna give him the eight year deal. He wants. 7.8 so we're gonna give him 8.25 boys for seven years he's gonna be happy about that uh it's a little bit more than uh Ishia, but hey, it's fine he deserves it high elite boys so that's that uh for the centers we have in the minors one and only one center in the minors really that's not a lot that is not a lot so we're gonna resign you buddy uh really quick uh, you got a two-way deal Let's keep you for three years, three more years, and give you the maximum. So that's going to be two centers. He's ready to play. Achins is finally ready to play in the AHL, so we're going to play him. So that's going to be three centers, and we need a fourth center, which uh, I guess I'm going to take. Uh, I'm going to get one from the free agency, I guess. Let's jump into left wing now. Let's see what we got the left wing wise. So one, two, three, and four. Uh, Mike Hoffman went up to an 88 overall. Fantastic. So he went up by three overalls, boys. Uh, Jesper Bratt, kind of, he stayed the same. So most of these guys stayed the same. Uh, Gusev uh, went down, though, in overall. So he's dropping. Uh, one, two, three, four. So we already have our four right uh, left wingers. So that's set up for our team. One, two, and three. So we're good on that side as well. And we need a fourth. We need a fourth one. All right. So we just need a fourth player, I guess. So. Uh, left wing, we need another uh, player for the miners as well. Let's go to right wing now. We're going, uh, we're dr going uh, up big time. So we got Dadonov. That's one, two. Uh, so basically, just uh, two players right now. Uh, Bobby Ryan does not want to re-sign with us. What did he did for us? He did really good for us. I mean, 50, se 50 point season, uh, both seasons for us. Uh, he's played fantastic for us. He's a consistent player, boys. But I'm not willing to pay overpay him. So if we can find something better, we'll find it. Uh, if he doesn't want to go back, come back with us, uh, fine by me. Just uh, get out of there, I guess. Uh, yes, for fast, I can find someone better than him. I already have Zajac as a depth forward, so I don't need uh, yes, for fast, boys. So we got, we're gonna need definitely two players already. Uh, we got Grabner in the the minors. I don't know if Anderson's going to be ready to play, to be honest. Uh, top nine. I doubt he's going to be ready to play. I really doubt it, boys. So uh, I'm thinking we need to go for two. Yeah, I'm, I, I don't think he's going to be ready to play. I don't think he will. So, yeah, we're going to have to wait it out on him. I think he might uh, go from one overall. But, uh, yeah, so we have one, two, and three right there. And uh, this uh, Zetherland's back. He, he's going to be back. We're going to sign him back, boys. So give him the maximum amount of money we can. All right. That's perfect for you, buddy. And that's pretty much it. Actually, we already had a player. Oh, we already had. Yeah, Kovacs. That's right. We had Kovacs. So I shouldn't have tried to re-sign him then. Oh, we could always buy out this. Yeah, we'll, we'll buy out this player. There it goes. So now we're at four players. So perfect. So we're going to need two players for the right wing position in the AH, NHL. Defensemen, we, uh, how many uh, defensemen do we have? So one, two, and three, and four. So one, two, three, four centers. We got four centers, boys. Uh, four defensemen, I should say. Uh, Butcher doesn't want to come back, so you're out of the team. Uh, PK Subin gave us the game-winning goal, right, in the uh, the finals of the conference. He, per he allowed us to go to the finals of the cup. So just for that, he should have another chance at our, uh, another goal, right? But because he's 80, he's the thing, he's not producing during the season. How is he doing during the playoffs? He's doing good during the season, though. It's not, I'm, I'm not playing him enough. I don't know, boys. I feel like I don't have space. I could find better defensemen. I'll let him go for now. I'll release him and I'll see if I can't. Uh, uh, maybe I'll get him back if there's no other defensemen. But right now we'll uh, we'll see if there's actually a you know a defenseman that would be interesting and uh, and all. Uh, this guy, Ty Smith, might be ready for the NHL. Actually, he might be ready for the NHL next year. 
uh, 78 overall. So I'm keeping an eye on him. I think he might be ready, boys. Uh, let's uh, keep an eye. So I'm going to count him as a part of the roster, I guess. So uh, only one defenseman. We're going to need a, uh, one defenseman. You're also going to need a depth defenseman for sure. But hold on. One, two. No, one, two, three, four right there. And that's pretty much it. So we need two more defensemen in the minors. This guy doesn't seem like he's good enough. Nah, seventh defenseman, not good enough. We're going to get something better than that. And I don't really have most of these defensemen that I have. And the, the system, they're not ready to play just yet. I need to wait for them to be in the 70s at least or something like that. So we're waiting on them. And while we're doing that, I guess I'm going to need two more defensemen in the minors. All right. And a depth defenseman as well, boys. And finally, for the goalies, let's take a look at our goalie situation. Markstrom, we still have him for another uh, one, two, and three years. Another three years with him. So we're good. We're fine on that side. Longfist does not want to come back, boys. At 83, 40 years of age, he's still 83 overall, though. What did he do for us? Stats are kind of shady, but they're they're good for a backup. It's good stats for a backup goaltender. I don't know, boys. I'm actually going to get rid of Schneider. And I, I'm going to get Gauthier in. I think he's ready to play for us. So let's go uh, get Gauthier in. So we've got our two backup goalies. Um, uh, for our two goalies for the minors. But I don't know. If Long Chris doesn't want to come back, he's a good goaltender, backup, solid uh, backup goaltender for us. I'm actually going to try to re-sign him because I feel like he, he's doing a pretty decent job. Let's sign him to a long-term contract, boys. All right, he's going to finish his career with us. Definitely uh, finish his career with us. So eight years, buddy. Eight years and you're, uh, you're going to get, you're going to be stuck with us for 2.75, uh, all right? You're going to be stuck with us, my guy. Eight years, buddy. So you're going to finish your uh, career with us. And that's pretty much it, uh, I think. So let's uh, let's do that. And uh, next up, I think we can just simulate to the next day. I think we got everything under control. I don't feel that the reward you offered me is appropriate, given my still. I'm not interested in joining with this job title. Uh, our uh, HL, any HL coach does not want to be the associate coach. Uh, let me tell you something real quick. You won't regret your decision. Okay, so everybody's re-signed just uh, so far. Let's go back to the coach staff. Uh, this guy does not want to re-sign whatsoever. He, he doesn't want to re-sign as an associate coach. Even though I gave him a lot of money. I mean, uh, that's a lot of money right there, my guy. Don't know why you're refusing that amount of money. That's, that's quite a lot, actually. That's quite a lot for an associate coach. Well, it's on par with most of these guys right here. I, I don't know, buddy. I, look, I'm giving you one more chance. I'll I'll up it up to uh, six, six k. All right, six k, uh, six hundred k. And if you're not happy with that, then you can pack your bags and go somewhere else because I am not gonna pay you, overpay you over uh, over that bullshit. All right. So uh, we do have the scouts resigning and stuff like that. Yeah, some of the scouts are resigning. That's good. Uh, can we have our coach resign, him, please? I uh, don't feel like... All right, well, go fuck yourself then. So the coach does not want to come back. He is not interested whatsoever. So what's his stats really quick? I, I really wanted to see. Nothing too shabby. So, you know, time to fire you, buddy. We're going to need a total revamp for the AHL squad, boys. Total revamp. This guy did not want to resign. That's fine by me. Not going to uh, waste my time with this guy. So let's sim to free agency now. All right, let's go see what we got in free agency this year. What options do we have that would uh, really help us out? Well, okay. Barkov, is he a, a RFA? He's a, not, he's a UFA, boys. He's a UFA. Well, what do you know? He's a center, though. That's a problem. He's a center. He cannot... Right, he, he can only please. He can only play center, so that's kind of a problem. I mean, I could try and go for him. Obviously, you know, I would. I, I could go for him, but uh, I don't know. I don't know, boys. Let's take a look. Do we have one of our centers? Is he? Is, uh, do we have a center that's literally um, like ready to play uh, as a left wing or a right wing? We do need two right wingers, so maybe we can 
have one of our right uh, centers plays as, as a right winger. Nope. They're all left winger. Uh, they're, there's only Nugent Hopkins, but it's on the left wing position. Maybe if I go to left wing, there's plenty of guys that I can play on the right wing position I could play, boys. What I could do is basically put one of these guys, one of these guys right here, and put him on the right wing. And I could move uh, uh, instead Hopkins in the left wing and put uh, Barkov as a center. I could do that. I could do that, boys. That would mean I only need one right winger, though. So I'll put that like that. I guess I'll, I'll I think I'll do that. I'll, I'll, I'm going to do that because I definitely want Barkov. He's a great asset. It would be a great asset for the team, boys. So, yeah, we'll go for Barkov. We'll go for Barkov. We'll cheese it out, boys. All the things we need. He is a 2 way forward, though, which is kind of scary, but it is fucking. It's, it's Barkov, boys. So, what do what you mean, want me to tell you? So, seven year deal, absolutely, buddy. And I'll sign you for 12.85, all right? 12.85 at seven year deal. More than enough. You should be accepting that contract, my guy. So there it is. We also needed a center, uh, depth center, right? So let's take a look really quick at what we got as an option for the depth. Uh, depth uh, wise, or it's not depth, it's for the minors actually. So 79 overall. So uh, where do we where do we get where the where does it stop all the way there? Okay, so Lewis all the way up to uh, Belmar. Let me check up really quick uh, which one is going to be the best. We're gonna get, uh, we're gonna go for Goudreau, boys. Goudreau because he can play both left wing and center, so if he's movable in that sense, so we're gonna uh, go for him, sign him for uh, a one year deal, just a one year deal for now. Because, well, actually, no. Let's sign him a little bit long term right here. Let's sign him six years. Six years until he's 35. Why not? Sign him six years, boys, at two point. Uh, well, nobody wants him anyways, right? So 2.3 should do the trick. 2.3 for six years, buddy. All right. You should be accepting that. Left wing position. Uh, so we are sacrificing one of our players, right? Because we're placing. Hold on. I gotta, I gotta remind myself of what I, uh, I just decided to do. So, uh, we gotta keep in mind we're gonna have Barkov, uh, in the team. So if we have Barkov, that's one, two with Barkov, three and four right there. Nugent Hopkins is, uh, is gonna be a left winger. So that's one, two right there, three, and say four right there. Maybe it's Gusev goes on the right. So we don't need no. We don't need any left wingers. We literally just need a right winger. Okay. So all my things are on par. So maybe uh, we need a minor for the left wing. I think that's what we need the most right now. So we need a minor player for the left wing. Let's take a look, boys. What can we get for the left wing right here? I'm gonna go after this guy. Uh, high top nine boys left wing high top nine. He can still grow 24 years of age Power forward. I'm interested in that. I'm definitely interested in that So we're gonna go for that prospect. All right. He's a prospect He, he should be very interesting if I sign him and stuff like that two-way deal as well. So let's go for him Let's go for him. He's, was he a UFA? I don't know if he was a UFA though. I hope he, I hope he was uh, right wing Right wing position. Now we need a right winger for sure. Now we could go for one of these two. It's going to be one of these two guys. So Bushnevitz or Bjorkstrand. We could also go back and try to sign Bobby Ryan. We know he, he does the job. So uh, what do we want to go after right here? Uh, do we want to go after the... Well, we got snipers right here. So no matter what happens, we're going to get a sniper, I guess. Yeah, no matter what happens... So I'm not in the, I don't, I'm not too sure. I think definitely, yeah. It looks like Bushnevich for me is probably better. It's a better option than Bobby Ryan. No. So I think yeah, we gotta go for Bjorkstrand. Uh, Bjorkstrand actually is gonna be the best option right here. Three years. If I put him at six years, that would put him. Okay, so that would be 34. Let's put him three years. Let's try him out for three years, boys. And uh, at six, uh, people are interested in him, so we're gonna give him. The 7.875, boys, for three years. That's a big time contract for someone like him. But I'm willing to do it. Defensemen, we need one big defenseman, um, two minor defensemen, and a depth defenseman. 
Now we do have Ristolainen and Lindholm, both two ways though. Now this is the way, no, th exactly. This is where we don't want two ways. We don't want two way defensemen. We want uh, offensive, no, it's defensive defensemen we don't want. Yeah, two ways is fine and offensive is fine. So I can go for Ristolainen. Uh, they, most of the teams want to go for him as well. Lindholm and Ristolainen, and most of the teams uh, are interested in them. Uh, are they good enough? Uh, Lindholm is not that good, actually, offensive-wise. I'm going to go for Ristolainen. He's going to be a good asset for us. Seven years. No, I'll, I'll give you the three-year deal, buddy. Three-year deal. I'll go for 7.25. Uh, uh, 7.25 for three years, my guy. And uh, anybody else. So definitely not Pareko. Liddy. Let's, uh, let's try to find somebody that's really good. Like uh, Mat Matthias Ekholm. So far, really good for us. So that would be a good asset. I think we could go for him. There's always Subin boys, but uh, offensive-wise doesn't have the stats anymore, it looks like. I think that would be the best option is just to go for someone like him. For, uh, for Matthias Ekholm boys. So we're going to go we're gonna go with uh, Ekholm. Uh, Three-year deal. Or do we want uh, seven? No, no. Even at seven years, it's gonna not gonna be enough. So we'll give you the three-year deal at. Um, I guess nobody wants you right now. So uh, four point five should work. Three-year deal, four point five. And now let's go for the minor, f minor players, minor defensemen, boys. Seven-year deal for this guy, you but skin boys. I found him. I found a, a great, a great player right there. Seven-year deal at two point one five. We're gonna lock him in for our team. He's going to be playing for the rest of his career almost with us. I'm looking for another player right here. Offensive demon. I don't see any offensive demons. It's a bunch of two ways everywhere, boys. Not good whatsoever. So this CC. Anybody else? Kulak. Yeah, I don't see anybody in here. There's uh, some offensive defensemen right here. There we go. Uh, Sekera. There we go. Andre Sekera. Let's get him in there. And uh, finish your four years with us, buddy at uh 2.75 all right finish your career with us buddy all right so that's that now we got to go and head towards the uh depth defenseman so 80 mark so we only have two choices here uh, we're both defensive defensemen that is not good at all that's really not good actually that's pretty terrible uh, but we don't have a choice it's uh we got to ch choose between one of them so uh, I'm thinking I'm going to go Connor Murphy is going to be better than Chariot for sure. So Connor Murphy, I'll only get you for one year since you are a defensive defenseman. You're not what I want. So I'll give you for one year at uh, 2.6 for sure. Making sure that everybody signs, boys. So that's pretty much that. Uh, we got all of that done. Let's take a look really quick. Uh, so advance the day. Hopefully... We're going to be fine right here. Actually, I do need to take a look at the, the coaches as, as well, right? So I did need to um, to find some coaches. So let me go find the coaches I need to find. All right, so I went and offered a bunch of different uh, coaches uh, alongside of Buffalgun to be my head coach, of course. A bunch of money. Now, it's ludicrous money right there. So I don't feel that the role you offered me is appropriate given my skill. Man, I offered them 7.7 .7 boys who doesn't want it. That is crazy, uh, in my opinion. I'm going to reject your offer. Damn, they don't want to. Uh, they want to join me or anything? Oh, that's going to be rough. The coaches are going to be really rough to, uh, to convince to come by. Uh, I'm going to have to figure it out one out, boys. The coaches, it's going to be a pain in the ass. I got to tell you that right now. Um, let's try and find, uh, like, Buffalgan, come with me, buddy. You're a generalist. You're decent. Uh, I want to grow you in the minors, my guy. I want you for the minors. He doesn't like. He doesn't want to be a net coach in the AHL, but that's just how it is. Uh, I'll give you uh, one more. Okay. All right. Look. I'll give you. I'll give you even better. I'll give you that amount. All right. I'll give you that amount. Let's see if you want. So now the associate coach didn't want to come with us. I. I, I guess. Uh, I really wanted to have that coach, but uh, if we can't get, uh, I'm going to try and save some money maybe. So maybe uh, we can try and get some associate coach right there from here. So maybe if we can get something really good like um, 
Like this guy is pretty solid. So patch already. Uh, get him as a uh, associate coach for the NHL, uh, AHL, and uh, like get him and give him like 6.81. Uh, we'll see if he accepts or not. Uh, hopefully he does. Hopefully he does. I mean, I'm giving them the years they wanted. It's just not their position, and I'm giving them more money, so they gotta accept, boys. Come on, accept, uh, buddy. I want to. Oh my God, head coach. So. He went for the head coach position in the wild. So I don't know which one that was. I don't know which one that was, boys. But uh, he accepted. So we got Raincroft. We got our goalie. We got a, a coach for the AHL goalie, basically. Uh, we got Connor Murphy, Sekera, Ekholm, Liu Bushkin, Goodrow, uh, Tufty. There we go. So we got these four players. I don't have the, the big, time, uh, big time ones just yet that have accepted so that's fine i'm happy to join our team there we go we got the associate coach boys i think the, it's the assistant coach then that refused so we do have ristolainen bjorkstrand and barkov are all in the team boys i'm waiting on buffalgan he he did he joined there we go a lucrative contract of eight uh 0 0.873 which is not that not that big of a, deal, a contract actually for a coach you know it's fine ahl coach is a big contract it's almost on par with the nhl coach but um now we got we're almost over the salary uh cap for the staff uh, the staff so we got to be careful we don't have a lot of space left to find ourselves an assistant coach but um i mean i went all out just to make sure that i had these two players these three uh, these two guys so I wanted to have them. Now I gotta find myself an a AHL uh, assistant coach, I guess. That's not gonna cost me too much. Let's go in the bottom right here. I don't wanna be in the D's though. I'm not gonna have a choice, I feel like. Because if I try to go for NHL assistant coach, we've got some C's, but it's gonna cost us quite a lot, boys. Yeah, it's not gonna be. I don't know if I'm gonna have a lot uh, enough. Find out if I can have enough. Uh, maybe something that's someone that's decent, someone that has some A's and stuff like that. Come on, B's. Yeah, it, we're good. We're starting to go very high now. So uh, I'm thinking uh, this guy maybe. That's uh, we got penalty kill right there. There's some B's. I think this guy could be good. Duke right there. Let's let's try and go for him. And uh, go for AHL assistant coach. Now he wants to be an NHL assistant coach, which tells me it's not gonna work. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. No. You know, it's not gonna work. I I can definitely tell. I don't have the money to bargain with them. So right now we're just gonna try and find somebody that's really good, anything at all. Right. Save some money. So maybe a, a knee or something. It's a. Uh, it's gonna be a AHL coach anyway. So anybody whatsoever that we uh we want to grow basically a lot right now teaching there we go there's a good one there's a good one for teaching ahl assistant coach perfect uh you'll get the money and even more buddy all right i'll pay you i'll pay you this this amount right there i'll pay you this amount right there uh, hopefully you accept he's definitely gonna accept i feel like so we should be good on that side let's go ahead and skip it can you accept buddy and he did accept there we go so we got uh, all of our coaching staff is done i want to make sure that my scouts are good to go yeah i've got 20 scouts i'm good to go boys uh ohl i've got it twice qhl do is there something i don't have no i think i have got every single league it's really comes to part where i gotta find some maybe better scouts overall i think i think it's just that overall king kd are you any good like in some particular parts no because i gotta find some people are good let's say in ahl or stuff like that you know nla dell stuff like that europe you know so, so i gotta find people like that that are really good but it's not gonna happen anyways let's jump into the season now all right boys so there's gonna be our lineup for this year at least the beginning of it we'll see if i have to make any changes eventually or not uh, I will take a look. Maybe I did the strategies. We'll see how it goes. But it's going to be Nugent Hopkins. As we said, it's going to be on the left. He's going to be playing on the first line this year. Uh, unless I want to change. No, I don't want to change things up. So Nugent Hopkins, 
with Jack Hughes and Bjorkstrand, unless I want to put that like that, that would put it at a plus three. Uh, yeah, that would be great because you think again, Hoffman played 44. Yeah, he had 44 goals last year. He was playing on the first line, so I've, I'm thinking maybe we should play him on the first line after all. Yeah, probably. So let's put Hoffman in there. All right, with uh, Jack Hughes, he's got two snipers to play with. He's got to have afterwards Nugent Hopkins playing with um, Ishia and Jesper Bratt, who's playing on the right wing this time around. And that's two, uh, a playmaker with two two-way forwards. Do we have a sniper that could probably help them out? Yes, we do. We do have a sniper. So we have Jaden Schwartz, boys. So we're going to have Jaden Schwartz with uh, Ishia and Jesper Bratt much better in that sense. And uh, we've got Nugent Hopkins playing with Barkov and Merkley. Now that's two, three two-way forwards. Barkov on the third line, right? So, but hey, he's only a center, so that's his fault. You know, we can't change him up. So I don't know exactly. We could have had a power forward, but I'm not. I don't want to put Barkov in the fourth line. So Nugent Hopkins. Uh, what do we need here? We kind of, we could have that. Hold well on. What if we change that? That doesn't change anything. Because, uh, yes, there's a playmaker to it or it's sniper. But I don't think that's how it works. So, I think the problem is uh, two-way forwards, they work for the team. What about uh, what about playmakers? Do they work for the team? Playmakers, they only work for the uh, the top, uh, the top uh, uh, places. What about snipers? Okay, yes, yeah, snipers and playmakers are really for the top six. The bottom six is really all about two-way forwards, most, uh, more than anything else. What about power forwards? Uh, it's kind of uh, the same as two-way forwards, but you got to find the right ones. So I'm, uh, I think I'm going to keep it like that. Uh, we'll keep it like that for these guys. And afterwards, it's going to be defensive wife Gustafsson, Ristolainen, uh, Ekholm and uh, Hamilton. And Ty Smith and Severson, boys. That's how it's going to be right there. Right there and then. That's uh, fantastic. That's going to be uh, super great for us. Actually, Merkley, I need to grow him. Actually, yeah, I need to play him. And I need to play him there. That, that's right. There we go. That's because I need to play uh, Merkley in their position. I'm trying to play the ones that are... Uh, there we go. He's listed as a third line a forward. I want to play him as a third line forward. So... There he is, boys. That's a plus one, actually. It's that much better already. And the goalie-wise, well, Markstrom and Longvis. Uh, Defensive-wise, well, we got all these players, these different players. We are going to switch as Troy Stetcher on, though, because he's an 81 overall. I don't want to waste him in the minors or anything. I think I found what I needed, though. I found Dickinson, boys. I figure uh, we take Dickinson and we ship out... Actually, I, I'm willing to ship out... Um, our franchise player right now. I'm willing to uh, to ship out Zajac or maybe just let him play in the HL, keep him with us because he is our best pro pointer as of yet uh, that's still playing for the team. I, c I could keep him, boys. I could keep him on and try and trade somebody else, but I've got a bunch of prospects right here. Goudreau's much better. So I'm thinking that, like getting rid of him as well. So. Getting rid of Zajac for good, boys, for Dickinson. Uh, so, Stetcher and Zajac for Dickinson. And also, uh, maybe I can get a defenseman out of this. Can get a defenseman out of this. It's uh, literally a trade for trade assets right there. So, something uh, that's in the minors that I could get. Uh, someone like Bertuzzo. Yeah. But uh, easy defensive defenseman. That's trash. I don't want that. Do not want that, boys. What about this guy? Uh, Two-way defender, Anka. Could be great, boys. I'll try and get Anka. So let's get Anka from that. And we can definitely get as well something like a, a draft pick or something. Any draft pick whatsoever will do. So a third round pick. Let's see. Third round pick, Anka and Dickinson for Stetcher and Zajac. Let's see what, if it's going to work. It It's not going to work. So it's not. Uh, it's a bit too much. Fourth round pick. Let's see if it's going to work. Accepted. So we got a fourth round pick and we got two players in exchange for these two guys. All right. So we got our depth forward that we needed. Instead of Zajac, it's a much better depth forward than Zekinson. 
And we got Anker, uh, Anka to replace Stetcher in the minors. Downgrade for the minors. But the thing is, I, I didn't want to have a, a guy at 81 overall playing in the minors. You know, I want to play, I want to let these guys have a chance in the NHL. So that's why I traded him. And we got a, a draft pick out of that as well. So for me, that's a really good trade, right? That's a trade that makes sense in my mind. Uh, let's get Anka in there. Perfect. Now he's a top six. So that means I'm going to put, uh, actually, no, everybody's fine. So everybody's fine in their position. And on that side, well, we got Dickinson now, boys. So everybody's ready. Uh, we got our lineup set up. And uh, I think we're good right now. I am not going to start the simulation up. I'm going to keep it uh, as it is. We're going to save up uh, everything. I'm actually going to sim to the regular season. We're going to skip the entire preseason run. Actually, I do need to scout. Hold on. I do need to start the scouting, boys. So I'll start the scouting. All right, the scouts are done. I'm ready to simulate the entire preseason right here, boys, and get on with the, the actual uh, regular season. So we are only going to make one trade, boys, during this uh, before the preseason because I don't feel like there's anything whatsoever that we needed to change too much. Uh, my big acquisitions are always going to be uh, always going to be made towards the free agency where you can get uh, all these big time players like Barkov and every time like I got Hoffman last year I got a bunch of players this time I went for the big time dude uh, with uh, some depth here and there because we already had the players in advance so now I got Barkov to help us out he's playing on the third line imagine that a guy like him playing on the third line and uh, that's fantastic so we got just a really de in-depth team boys I am super excited to test this team out see how they do especially with someone like Hoffman we, we know we can score 40 goals for us per season he's going to be a fantastic player to uh, play along uh, Jack Hughes and stuff like that I'm curious about Barkov how he's going to play uh, playing for us in the third line boys so it's going to be very uh, I'm going to be very curious about that one uh, we'll have to see I guess but um, Hoffman so let's see Real quick, so a sniper, playmaker, and a sniper. So this one is definitely going to be full-on overload. Uh, this is going to be, I guess, overload as well because it's working out. Yeah, they're all working out. So all overload for these three lines. And this one is not working out too much. So this one, uh, what we're going to do is going to be, I'm looking at their height. Uh, it's going to be behind the net. So behind the net on the uh, last one. So... All three of them are going to be overload, and the last one's going to be behind the net, boys. That's going to be the strategy. And we're going to keep the same strategies as last year as well for the actual uh, things like that right here. We're going to keep it the same, but we're going to make sure that it's all on overload right here. Yep, all on overload. Actually, everybody's already on overload. That's interesting. Uh, actually, you know what? Yeah, let's keep them all on overload then, maybe. Uh, we'll, we'll see if, it, if that works out even for them. We'll see. Any scouts that are finished? I think uh, it, it said they, they were going to finish for the uh, 11th of December and stuff like that. So that's when I can expect it to finish. As flown, there's only one guy over here that I need to uh, scout basically. So you're going to see me go for him a lot, I guess. I don't think he's going to end up being anything. Alsvin Scan is pretty much a nobody this year, I guess. All right. So. I think we're good, boys. I think uh, we can stop the video right here. Or maybe we can simulate the first 10 games. Let's just simulate the first 10 games. And just get a decent idea of what the team looks like, really. So, all the way up to the uh, Detroit, right? The, the, Red, uh, the uh, Detroit Red Wings game. So, we uh, lose our first game in shootout. Our second game, we lose it as well in overtime. So, it looks like uh, extras... The extras, we got to fix it up maybe because uh, that could have been uh, two more points for us right there. But we got, at least we got the points. We're getting the points. There we go. So far, so good. We're winning games. There we go. Four wins in a row right there after our two uh, first losses. But we haven't uh, lost in regulation so far. I don't want to jinx myself though. I got a feeling it's going to happen. Yeah, it just happened. I, right as I say that, we did, we get two regulation losses in a row. Man, every time I say something, it happens. What the hell? All right, please. Uh, we got to uh, come back. Make another win. Oh, no. No, no, no. 
Uh, Ecom got injured. Replace player. We're going to assimilate the rest to uh, two uh, other games. There's a win for us, at least. Ishiar got injured. That's great. And uh, there we go. Just re there we go. Finish the game. There we go. So two wins. So so a really good, really good start for the first 10 games, boys. We're already at 6-2-2. Two two, so we're on par with the same type of season as last year. And Barkov, which he's playing on the third line, ha is the best player of our team. 10 points in 10 games played. I like seeing that a lot, boys. We're actually playing very good. We're playing very decent right now. Uh, let's take a look really quick. So we got our two injuries right now, which already is it's already starting. So each share is already injured. That shit's crazy. It doesn't last long at all. Ecom is back though. He's ready. Uh, I don't want to put him in there too early, but I feel like we need to put him in there. I mean, come on. We need uh, all the, the help we can get. So I'll come get back in there. And for now, I guess uh, Dickinson's just going to have to play there. Yeah, it's just gonna have to do his thing. Barkov is having a great season right now so far with Merkley and um, and Hopkins. So these three guys working out, they're working out together. What about Bjorkstrom? Yeah, first line is working together just fine. What about Hoffman? How many? Uh, two goals, five points. So first line is not producing too much, but they're doing fine. I think the fourth line is gonna one that is gonna be the one that's giving up the goals, obviously, but. That's fine by me, boys. I think what I'm going to end up doing, actually, is I got to move this up. Yeah, because Barkov is in there. It's time to move them up. And we're going to keep Dickinson in, in here because he's better than Gatslav anyway. So that's perfect. Switch it up like that, boys. So that's uh, fantastic. I think that works just fine. We didn't have any injuries in the minors so far. We got our first round pick, right, uh, from last year. Hutchins playing with our low elite. So our two big prospects, biggest prospects are playing together with uh, Nolan Foot as well. So big time prospect line right there. Anyways, I think um, I th I th for f the first uh, 10 games, um, I think we're going to have a, a good season. Once again, boys, we're going to have a good season. We got the goalie on the back. We got everything under control. Now we're going to take a look at the team stats really quick like we usually do, uh, we usually do all the time. As well, all the time, we are the best, one of the best scoring uh, team and uh, we're the best defensive team. So we're doing just fine. Our strategy is on par, boys. We have the best strategies set up. Uh, we've got a really good power play. I like that. And penalty kill is just fine. The penalty kill is just fine. So let's keep it at that. We don't, we're not touching anything. Not touching anything. Maybe the extras, though. Uh, here's my thinking, yeah. Because we did lose twice in overtime and shootout at the beginning. Those could be bonus points right there. So maybe that's the one thing I need to change. Uh, we'll see you guys for the next entire season uh, for the next video. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. See you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.